The first Godzilla operator is now live in Modern Warfare 3 Warzone in Warzone Mobile. This coming in the Shamu Tracer Pack bundle. There's a lot in this, including a finishing move, a Mastercraft blueprint. The first thing you get is the Shamu operator skin, which has glowing eyes. Also, a bunch of ice crystals on the back with a mist. Uh, definitely going to have to see how this looks in third person. Then we've got the Glacial Cold MCW Blueprint, which does have different tracers and death effects. We'll be testing those out. But more importantly, uh, this is actually a Mastercraft weapon. It doesn't say it, but wait till we get in game and inspect this. Oh, wait, does it? Oh, it also glows in the dark. Okay, we'll have to take it in zombies and we'll have to try camos on this. Maybe the crystals change. Then we've got the frostbite for the striker nine. Once again, got the same tracer effects. Then we've got a flash cold freeze, which is an equipment skin for, I think, the flash grenade. Uh, maybe it has a special effect when we throw it. Then we've got the frostbite finish. We'll definitely see all three different versions of that. We got a large decal, a loading screen, and a weapon charm. And this bundle's actually kind of special. We got the Titan collection. And if you buy all four of the Godzilla bundles, uh, you unlock the Beast Glove. So whenever this does come out and the other two bundles are live, uh, we'll make a video on that. But that's for a later date. This will be the second one out of the four you have to get. Meaning that Melee Blueprint is going to cost like $70 if you want to get it. Yep, there we go. Now two out of four. Two more bundles remain and we get this bad boy right here. And I, I wonder if we could put camos on this. Dude, imagine this with Interstellar. Um, I, I, Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully you can put camos on it. The Godzilla Operator skins for Byline, so it's on the Spec Crew team. Here's what the skin looks like in game. And yeah, clearly stands out. Very unique looking. There's really not any other skin that looks like this in the entire game right now. I like the white ice design. It's a very, you know, we just don't get designs like this in COD that often anymore. We get crazy designs, but not ones that are sleek and ice-like. Uh, I know there is an ice variety. So the, uh, the eyes light up. Then when you get to the back, there's the majestic crystals on the back here. And it's got the spewing stuff all over it. Uh, do they go away when they die? Oh, yeah, the, the spew stops. Also got some glow sticks, which I'm not sure why you need that if the skin itself lights up. Now let's see what the skin looks like in a darker environment. So yes, this is the issue with light up skins. They do give your position away a little bit. Clearly, um, this compared to a skin that doesn't have any light up stuff, this one's going to make you a little bit easier to spot. Uh, but let's take a look at that. Is, that is actually fire looking. The eyes, one of the better parts of the skin, the entire mist aura it gives off. Then you've got the cape with the, the ice crystal. Oh, wait, and they, are they flowing? Oh, yeah, the, the, the ice crystals are moving. And then you got ice crystal in the helmet. Overall, a um, fantastic looking skin. Here's the attachments that come on the MCW. Now, one thing I'm wondering about, there was a blueprint that was like this in Vanguard, but you could have put camos on it. And yes, it does look like in this game, you could put camos on it. It doesn't cover up the crystal, so it's not, you know, the craziest coverage ever. Although you still get to see like the little frost lines in it, which leads to some unique effects. What about a non-mastery camo? Yeah, I, I'm sure there's some good combination. Oh, whoa. Whoa, okay. Yeah, there's definitely some good combinations out there. We're not going to go through all of them to find them, but I do like how you can see the frost lines in there. And if you find a good combination, leave it in the comments and uh, may maybe we'll post on it. On Ooh. Ooh, I like the serpent that I won. Okay, then we've also got the other blueprint, the Striker 9. What about this when we apply camos to this? And, ooh, yeah, this, the Striker 9. It's a cool looking blueprint, but compared to the MCW, uh, I think we can all agree the MCW uh, takes the cake here. It's got the frost coming off of it, but even when it comes to camo coverage, it's just it only covers a tiny bit of the gun, which could lead to some cool combinations. But I think you're better off with the MCW. Here's the blueprints in game, and uh, it surprisingly actually looks better in game than what it did in the menu. This is um, definitely a frozen looking blueprint. Uh, blue dot there. If we shoot it, custom sound effect. Also has like a light blue impact effect and leaves a like a frost frost where e wherever you shoot. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll call that frost. Uh, then we've also got the striker nine, which once again, it has that blue effect on here. It just it looks like it's made out of ice. There's the, the reticle for it. And if you shoot it a little bit more high pitched, but it's got the same stuff. Uh, if we inspect this, this is obviously not a Mastercraft. Now for the main attraction. Here is the MCW. Let's give this bad boy an inspect. Uh-huh. That is one of the best Mastercraft inspects in Modern Warfare 3 right now. What are there like five of them? This is probably the best one. This one isn't even labeled as a Mastercraft. The one that's not even labeled as a Mastercraft has the coolest looking inspect. So you, you, you take off one of the little crystals on the side or one of the little ice shards, whatever you want to call it. You look at it, inspect it in the light. It supercharges. 
and then you put it back in. So yeah, that is what I would call a Mastercraft inspect. I, I, I assume it's just a bug. At some point, this will probably be called a Mastercraft in the game. Now let's see what happens when we kill an enemy with it. The death effects on it. Oh, okay. I was about to say, did their gun even get frosty? No, they just have the... the ew. You put the worm camo... Shame. Shame. Yeah, so they just um explode into frost. There's no trace. Well, except for the, the frozen... You get it? There, there's a trace. I there, There's a trace. What about a headshot? Is it any different? No, but it is satisfying. Boop. Almost like built-in frost blast if you're playing zombies. And two more for the road. Dude, the explosion effect's just so big. Yeah, um, actually, let me go far away. How noticeable is it if I'm way back here and I take one of you guys out over there? Is it just huge? Okay, so there's one person right there. Ooh. That is a lot of ice smoke. That is... Look, might, might clear up your visibility just a tad bit. Just a little bit. Got a few camo combinations I want to try out. I call this one Fire and Ice. This is the weekly, cha or the weekly camo from last season. A pretty good combination. And this one looked better in the menu than what I thought it did. This is one of the raid camos. And it, it makes it a little bit more movie, but I think it might have looked better with the default version without a camo. So weirdly enough, the flash freeze is actually a stun grenade, not a flash grenade. So that's good to know. All right, custom stun grenade. If we go ahead and throw it, does it explode any different? Uh, I, I don't think so. And if it did, it was so minute that it's not worth looking at. Okay, now for the frop... <clears throat> now for the frostbite finisher that comes in this bundle first with standing well yeah that was that was frostbite oh oh the head's gone oh the head's gone but the little orbs that float around this operator's head are still yeah so that was the that was the standing version then we've got the prone yeah Makarov's not with us anymore He's gone. Uh, and, then, and then we got the and then we got the down version. So pretty much to sum up this finishing move, uh, you hit them with the frost bat, the frost breath. It freezes them, and then you proceed to smash in their head in a variety of different ways. Let's uh, let's do the standing one again. It's been a second. So top bottom and then kick. Pretty solid. Then we got the down version. I think the standing might be the best, which usually the downed one's the best, but this one where you do the kick, the roundhouse kick on their frozen face, I think that's the best one. Oh yeah, we've also got the prone one again. Let's 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 check out this again. That's all right. I I think standing's the best. They're all pretty similar, but the one with the kick in the face, the down. <laughs> that's my favorite of the three. And the best part is this isn't an exclusive finishing move, so you can use it on whatever operator you want. If you want to be Tim the Tapman that has frost breath that uh, can freeze enemies. It <laughs> yeah, this is peak. Hey, Izzy. Timmy smash. Timmy smash. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. The skin looks majestic in the zombies menu. Let's quickly test out the weapons in zombies before heading to Warzone Mobile. Uh, let's check out the inspect in a darker environment. Yep, uh, inspect definitely brighter. You can also see like the veins, the uh, the ice veins on the weapon a lot better. In oh my, look at how bright that is in here. Oh. You know, normally inspects, you want to use them in like the night, the super bright daylight. But uh, this inspect, almost kind of, kind of, kind of better in a dark room. Here's the MCW blueprint. It kind of lights up at the tip of it, but that's about it. Test out the death effects, see if they work against zombies. So here's a zombie. And, and now there's not. Oh yeah, this is, this is, this is going to get a little ridiculous when killing hordes. Just, 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 a, okay, in, in a little bit of packet burst, but, um, gone but yeah overall yep the blueprints seem to work just fine oh yeah we've also got the operator skin to check out here's the operator skin in a third person view and um ah, clearly you can see all the crystals usually operator skins the back of them are the most lackluster part this operator skin the most interesting parts on the back so this is an operator skin that's actually kind of cool to use in third person whereas normally all you get to see is the back of the operator which isn't usually interesting but this one this one got a bunch of ice crystals 
Okay, so now here's a lot of zombies. So we're just gonna we're just gonna make it freeze. You know, probably better if we had this thing max upgraded with a ton of pack crystals. That would um a lot more freezing would happen, but you, you can kind of get the picture of what would happen in a giant horde here. Okay, but I got you. All right, off to Warzone Mobile we go. All right, Warzone Mobile, let's find the operator. There it is. So clearly it does work on Warzone Mobile. We'll go ahead and equip that. Also switch over to MP. Let's find the blueprints. So MCW. I'm really curious if this weapon's going to have the custom inspect over here on Warzone Mobile. Which one is it? That's if I can even... There's a... Oh, there's Glacial Coal. Oh, locked. Huh. I'm going to reset my game because I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. I didn't expect this. But for some reason, I've got some sort of bug going on with Warzone Mobile and the blueprints are locked. I've reset my game. I've checked for an update. Uh, I really don't know what else to do to troubleshoot this. And I would love to show the inspect and what happens when you do it in Warzone Mobile. Because I tried to include the main series games. And then at the very end, we take it into Warzone Mobile and we use it. Um, but it's not even just this bundle. It's all of my blueprints. You can see here that th they're all locked. And I've, I've reset. I've done other things. I cannot seem to use these in any way, shape, or form at this point in time. So obviously if I can't use them, uh, I, I can't include them in the video. That would be impossible for me to do. Uh, you can tell that it does register that I have the bundle here because we have the operator skin. Uh, but unfortunately the way uh, Warzone Mobile currently works, we're not able to equip the finishing move on this operator. Uh, we can just select our operator. So we cannot use the finishing move from the bundle and we can't use the weapons, but uh, here's what the operator skin looks like. There's no way for me to view it in third person. So I guess that's kind of the end of the review like i said sucks hopefully in future reviews i do get to show these off in warzone mobile but i mean as it stands right now it may be maybe about maybe for M, uh, if i try it for warzone nope it, it yeah it's still locked i can't equip any of these so sorry about that like i said hopefully it's not like this for any future reviews but at this current point in time i can't equip them so with that we're gonna wrap it up overall for the price of this bundle, we have seen bundles that cost 3,000 COD points that have way less in it. I'm not trying to say it's worth your money because only you can decide that for yourself. But for the price tag, you get an operator skin, a finishing move, and a Mastercraft that's not even labeled as a Mastercraft. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave the question up to you. That's the goal of these videos. I showcase everything, and then you're able to make your own informed decision unless it's for Warzone Mobile because, unfortunately, it's not currently working. Maybe we'll do an updated short. Maybe we'll do a short on this channel. When it is fixed, I'll inspect it. So make sure to sub if you do eventually want to see the inspect for this on Warzone Mobile. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great today. Peace. Lego unlocked. Is Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these. Can't move.